Hello everybody and welcome to Programming with Ruby, episode 12 documentation. I'm Tyler and this video is brought to you by manwithcode.com. Now in this episode I'm going to be talking about documenting your code, more specifically using comments and the tool rdoc. Now, it should be a short show so let's get started. Now you've seen comments uh, throughout you know, this whole series, they're just the hash mark followed by you know, whatever you want to put there. Usually used to explain complicated pieces of codes. Maybe you've done some S, uh, some SQL magic. Maybe you've done a really complex regular expression. Maybe something really complex that you sh probably should explain so no one gets confused later on. It's also uh, very useful if, just so you know at a glance what a class is for or what a method does, things like that. And if you don't do that and someone else is uh, you trying to use your code, if they have to read through all your code to figure out what a certain method does, they're not going to do it. They're just going to throw your code in the bin and walk away. All right? So, see. now tools like RDoc help you make your documentation even better and easier to read and use. So, for example, let's take a look at this. This is a program. Uh, part of a game engine which is used when you create games uh, semi-obviously and there are just comments above all the methods and stuff which gets turned into documentation and you use the rdoc tool now more specifically on the rdoc tool you should already have it installed because it comes with most installations of ruby so yay but you can also install it with ruby gems or via some other method such as your platforms package manager if it has one and if you get the most up-to-date version things will look a tad bit differently this is generated using the new version this is off of the code you just saw right here new version and this is an old version I kinda like the way the new version looks but the old version is what comes with most installations of Ruby so if you don't install anything this is what you're most likely to have. Now, how do you run RDoc? Well, you just go into the directory where you have the code. So, let me do that for you. Let me make that bigger so you can see. Just run the command RDoc and goes through all of it, finds the comments, and creates it for you. And it creates the nice looking documentation for you. It creates that in a folder called doc. So let's see, let's go down into there, see the folder named doc right there, and in index.html, wherever that is, right there. And you can see all of that. Very, very nice. Okay. Now, you can also do some nice formatting with your comments because the default doesn't always look really great. But I only wanted to show you the tool RDoc and stress the importance of commenting. I'm not really going to go all that in depth in it since that doesn't really help you learn the Ruby programming language. But if you would like to learn more, walk yourself on over to, let's see, what is it? rdoc.rubyforge.org slash rdoc.html that will bring you to this page which is loading and will show you the ways you can make it look all nice and format it and stuff like that so that's basically the end of the episode so do not do not forget to donate if you have any questions, comments, suggestions about anything, leave a comment on the page or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.